Welcome! In front of me I have a CMF Watch Pro 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to wake up or rather turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the uh, crown button. Keep holding the button until you see the CMF logo on the screen. Once you see the logo you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. After the watch turns on, you will see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by swiping on the screen. You can also use the crown button, basically rotate it to scroll. So select the language you would like to use and once you select it, tap on the check mark to confirm. And now we need to download the CMF uh, watch application on our phone. You can scan the QR code if you, are, if you want to. I'm just gonna open the Play Store on my phone and download it from there. And to do it, we need to have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the Play Store, tap on search, tap on the search bar and type in CMF Watch. And tap on search. And you should see this application. Application CMF Watch by Nothing Technology Limited. Tap on the app to select it, then tap on the install button. And after the application is done installing, tap on open. And now we need to log in into a CMF account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on register. Uh, you can also use the Google account if you like to. Uh, and uh, to, to log in, you will also need to check this box at the bottom. So I'm gonna try to log in, give me a couple of seconds. Okay, and after you log in, you will see this page, basically, the home page of the app or the health page. Once you see this page, tap on the device icon right here at the bottom, then tap on this big plus button. Tap on confirm and allow the required permissions. And then wait and the app will search for the nearby devices and once it after a second or two, it should detect your watch, basically. If it doesn't, you can always try to scan the QR code from your watch by tapping right here. But it detected our watch, so we can tap on, on it to select it. Tap on the check mark on the watch to confirm. And once it's done, we can tap on try it out. And here we can also uh, allow some permissions. As you can see, we have another pairing request. Tap on pair, tap on the check mark. And here we can allow the permissions for the call reminders, notifications and music control. If you want to allow the permissions, simply tap on them uh, and to check them or uncheck them. Oh, it's syncing the data. Everything is happening at the same time, which is a bit weird, but let's wait until it's done. Okay, it's done. So like I said before, you can check or uncheck the things you want to turn on. The call reminder is basically um, the notifications about calls. So if somebody is calling you on your phone, you will see the name of the contact and the watch will vibrate and alert you that somebody is calling you. And next we have the notifications for the apps. So WhatsApp, Discord and stuff like that. And then we have music controls. So you can basically use your watch to control the music on your phone. If you want to allow all of them, make sure they're checked and then tap on get access and you will need to allow some permissions now. This is for the notifications. So we need to scroll down, find the CMF watch application on the list, tap on it, then tap on the uh, switch next to allow notification access, tap on allow, and then you can go back by tapping on the back button. And once you're done, you should see the device page and on that page you should see your watch pro 2, which means that the watch is connected or paired with your phone. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.